Welcome to Retro Needy, where our need for nostalgia is satisfied with old school top 10 countdowns. Today, we're counting down our list of the top 10 90s cartoons. And just to clarify, we're going to focus on cartoons aimed at kids. So shows like South Park or King of the Hill will have to be saved for another list. Number 10, Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life, a show about an Australian wallaby living in the fictional town of O-Town, started airing on Nickelodeon in 1993. In this show, Rocco and his friends go through many happenings in their crazy, not-so-mundane life, from trying to find a job to cleaning the house with an outrageously powerful vacuum. Even though this show was targeting kids on Nickelodeon, a lot of these episodes had a lot of adult humor hidden into them such as when Rocco tried a job being a specialty phone operator. Number 9. Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold. Another great show on Nickelodeon was Hey Arnold. This animated series officially started in 1996, but if you went to see Nickelodeon's Harriet the Spy movie in theaters back in 1994, you might remember the short feature before the movie titled Arnold, where we first catch a glimpse of the main characters in the Hey Arnold series. Hey Arnold also had a full-length movie titled Hey Arnold the Movie, and then a reboot movie in 2017 titled Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie, in which Arnold and his classmates go on a trip to the San Lorenzo jungle and end up retracing the steps of Arnold's missing parents. Number 8. Recess <laughs> Recess first aired on Disney's One Saturday Morning in September 1997 and went on until 2001 when Disney would also produce a theatrical film, Recess Schools Out. This show follows the school life of six schoolmates, TJ, Vince, Spinelli, Gretchen, Mikey, and Gus, navigating through the ways of the schoolyard. This show was unique in that the playground was basically its own world with its own economics, where all the students would have a general ruler. In this case, it was a sixth grader they called King Bob. They had their own territories, their own slang, and sometimes even their own currency. Number 7. The Magic School Bus <laughs> In 1994, The Magic School Bus Books became a TV series airing on PBS. In this show, a highly unusual teacher named Miss Frizzle likes to take her class on exciting field trips to learn about whatever subject it is that they're learning. These field trips indeed proved to be highly unusual, since the mode of transportation is a magic school bus that can shrink everyone in it down to small microscopic sizes, change their genetics, or even launch them all into space. Number 6. The Powerpuff Girls Sugar, spice, everything nice, and an accidental addition of Chemical X is the perfect recipe to create the Powerpuff Girls. This series about a trio of crime-fighting kindergarten girls with superpowers aired on Cartoon Network from 1998 until 2005. After the original series end, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup were rebooted in Japan as Powerpuff Girls Z, and then later on again on Cartoon Network in 2016. But let's be real, many who grew up with the original did didn't really like the new take on the latest reboot. Number 5. Arthur Every day when you're walking down the street, Arthur the Anthropomorphic Aardvark aired on PBS for 25 years, from October 1996 until it finally came to an end in February 2022. This show is based on the Arthur books by Mark Brown. Originally, he did not want his books to be created into an animated series. But when he learned that the show was going to be shown in a way to encourage kids to read more books, he agreed. Arthur was usually a fun, lighthearted show, following the life of Arthur and his group of third grade friends, but sometimes they would touch on some sensitive topics, such as students on the autism spectrum, bullying, or going through a divorce. Number 4. Rugrats
Rugrats premiered on Nickelodeon in August of 1991 with the imaginative adventures of the babies, Tommy, Chucky, Phil, Lil, Angelica, and Susie. The success of the show led to the creation of a theatrical movie in 1998, in which they introduced Tommy's little brother, Dill, another movie in 2000 where more characters were introduced, and then one more theatrical movie in 2003, which was a crossover with The Wild Thornberries, another series on Nickelodeon. The original Rugrats series ended in 2000 2004, but additional episodes were released as DVDs in 2006, and the Rugrats spin-off, All Grown Up, aired from 2003 to 2008. Today's kids can also catch the all-new 2021 CGI reboot on streaming service Paramount+. Plus. Number 3. Animaniacs Animaniacs is the second cartoon series produced by Steven Spielberg's Amblem Entertainment and Warner Brothers Animation, right after the success of Tiny Toon Adventures. Animaniacs centers around the three Warner siblings, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, who live in a water tower at the Warner Brothers Studios in California. This sibling trio is always getting into trouble, the security guard is always trying to catch them, and poor Dr. Otto Von Scratch and Sniff can never catch a break with these kids. Although the Warners were the main characters, each episode of the Animaniacs also had a couple of cartoon shorts that starred different cast members, such as Buttons and Mandy, Rita and Runt, or Pinky and the Brain, who also ended up getting their own series. The original run for the Animaniacs was from 1993 to 1998. It was later rebooted for online streaming platform Hulu in 2020. Number 2. Darkwing Duck Darkwing Duck first aired weekend mornings on the Disney Channel in 1991 before it became part of the Disney Afternoon Block. Darkwing Duck is a show about a masked duck superhero who fights against evildoers at night with his pilot and sidekick Launchpad McQuack, while in the day, Darkwing's secret identity is Drake Mallard, who struggles to be a good dad for his young daughter Goslin. Although the show originally only ran from 91 to 92 and through reruns on Toon Disney, this show definitely was left ingrained in the minds of 90s kids because when Disney Plus first launched, hashtag Darkwing Duck was trending mere hours after the launch. Number 1. Dexter's Laboratory Dexter's Lab first aired on Cartoon Network in 1995. This show was about a boy genius with a hidden lab and obliviously hilarious parents. He was always doing crazy experiments that would usually end up causing some sort of trouble for himself. His nosy sister Dee Dee was always destroying something in his secret lab, and on occasion, Dexter would also try to outdo his rival Mandark, who just happened to have a crush on Dexter's sister. The show would also sometimes have mini side stories concerning Monkey, the monkey that Dexter Dexter kept in his lab, or a bit about the Justice Friends starring Major Glory, Dexter's favorite superhero. This series maintained a strong following on Cartoon Network, with a TV movie airing in 1999 and the series continuing until 2003. 90s kids cartoons were really great quality. It's great that even though a lot of these shows were aimed at kids, there was a lot of side humor that adults were able to be entertained with as well, without being too obvious about it. Many still have very fond memories of a lot of these shows. What was your favorite 90s cartoon? Share with us in the comments, and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can be in the know for our next video here on Retro Needy.